Hey guys, welcome back to Wasteland 2. So last episode, we, we sort of arrived here in Hollywood. I'm in a gun shop now, we're gonna go out the front door after coming in the back door. And we're, we got about halfway across this map basically, and we're just trying to slowly fill this place in and figure out what the area is. Not much story on the right side, besides the fact that we got a conversation with Matthias that kind of reveals what how the final confrontation of this game might play out. But... Need to get, we need to figure out the uh, situation of the actual strife around here. Let's see, don't order the schnitzel, they're using schnauzer. Oh, they're using dog. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happy hour. Haha, <laughs> get it. Hey you, just people. Is that them, George? Are they here at last? Martha? Martha? Need some healing, folks? You come to the right place. I'm trying to talk to you, Martha, but you're in front of a door, which makes you very hard to target. Like, really comically hard to target. Am I supposed to be able to talk to you guys? God damn it. Why'd they make it this way? There we go. George takes care of easing the troubles of the mind and spirit. I take care of easing the troubles of the body. If you're sick, I can cure you. If you're wounded, I can patch you up. What do you need? Uh, we don't need to heal. So that's it. How do I target her, though? Wow. That door is weighted as such a high priority thing. Can I look at her from this side? Oh, there we go. Hey man, welcome to the high ground. I'm George, and this is my old lady Martha. Afraid we're not open for business right now, but if you come back later, we'd be happy to trade. Got some primo stuff. I just want to point out that I ultimately was able to target her by facing off towards that car. Because <laughs> the the targeting priority in this game tar uh, prioritizes doors so heavily that they were just... Frankly, the developers were actually maybe kind of stupid, and this is kind of an over like this is kind of an oversight to put the characters in front of a door when it works this way. Uh, why aren't you open? Total bummer, man. A bunch of creepy crawlies are infesting our shop. Roaches as big as your leg. I haven't seen anything like them since that time I ate that bad batch of window paint. Haven't dared go in there for days. Just been waiting on the HSP. Heidi promised us they'd help us, but we ain't seen hide nor hair of them. Meanwhile, we're just standing here on the sidewalk getting a suntan and losing money every day we're not open. Who's the HSP? They like to act like they're a police force, but they're really just Heidi's personal security. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but don't go running to them with a domestic dispute or anything like that. They're All right. just here to protect the tourists and the HCC business. Alright, tell us about Heidi. Certainly is a go-getter, that gal. Really worked hard to keep Hollywood safe, at least on the outside. Maybe she'll get around to fixing what's going on on the streets once she wipes out God's militia. I don't know. What's happening on the streets? A lot of nasty stuff happening in the shadows here. Salt turning kids into zombies. A lot of other kids getting stolen away in the night. Heidi don't care so much as long as they don't happen to tourists. Don't seem right to me, but I ain't running things. What do you think of Hollywood? I love this town, man. Always something groovy going on. Always cool people to see. Me and Martha just sit back and watch it all go by like it was a movie. Of course, it'd be cooler if the HCC did something about the drug problem. What about this drug problem? Salt, man. That evil shit they sell up at the Hotel California. It's given honest drug dealers like me and Martha a bad name, and Heidi ain't doing a thing about it. Hotel California? Hotel California? Zombie Central. That's where they deal salt. I don't know why the HSP can't make that place go away. Raid it all the time, but it's always back again the next week. Tell us about salt. Pure evil, man. And I'm not just saying that because it's my competition. Pot never hurt anybody, bro, but that salt will rot your brain. Tell us about the HCC. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Guess they've done good for this town, mostly. They've certainly kept those God's Militia crazies off our backs. But sometimes they seem to forget the little things. Like looking out for people who aren't members of the HCC, for instance. You know, like the kids on the street and regular folks. Can we help you with anything? You know, maybe we can use your help. We keep asking Heidi to get the HSP to clear out those creepy crawlies that drove us out of our shop. But she says she can't spare the manpower. You want to take a crack at it? We'd totally be in your debt, man. Totally. 
Who is Martha? My wife of 25 years. She's the love of my life and the light of my nights. Been running this shop together since we were kids. What do you know about High Ground? That's us, man. Purveyors of the finest weed in Hollywood. Clean, strong, and full of the all-natural goodness of THC. Martha's also handy with needles and pills if you need to get patched up or cured of what ails you. Can't help you right now, though. So, if I say what do you have, nothing happens? Sorry, can't trade right now. We're waiting for the HSP. Alright. See you, Rangers. Ah, a seller of herbal remedies. So they're looking for nice us to clear to something out. So sensible in this strange town. Almost certainly gonna take a visit to that sewer at some point. What all is in here? This is what they were afraid of? Oh. Surely not. Not the sewers, it's all these bugs in here. Holy shit, they're just everywhere and they're huge. They're like massive rat roaches. Covering every particle of this room. Let's go ahead and just do one of these real quick. Seems like a reasonable response to what's going on in front of me right now. Is it the puppy? Hey there, boy. <laughs> rough, rough. You can say, you can ask if you want to find you a home or... Get out of here, you dirty mutt. Grrr. And then he leaves. Bye, puppy. Alright, we good now? Are we good? Everyone's good? Scary puppy's gone? Toaster repair? Seriously, what is- did that- did that puppy kill all of those things? Ow! What's with these critical failures I'm getting when I have such a high dice roll? It's a glass gecko bong. Ornately worked glass geckos are mounted all along the bulb and stem from this stained glass bong. A faint smell of marijuana can never be removed. All right, that'll come into play somewhere. I wonder if it might even just come to play with the people that, that are trying to move back in. Well, this place seems pretty clear to me, except for the part where it's just covered in corpses, but I mean, I don't need to deal with that, at least. Gross. A rustic shop with psychedelic posters. Uh... That screen just kind of took off, didn't it? Wow, how many screens do we have here? <laughs> a rustic shop with psychedelic posters on the walls and rows of marijuana-filled glass jars on shelves, all covered in cockroach blood. The air is thick with a mixture of blood and incense. If Santa Claus ever quit the North Pole and decided to tune in, turn on and drop out, this is where it, what it would look like. A tubby little guy with a big a white beard and a, a sleepy smile, wearing a groovy tie-dyed shirt. A grocery store that somehow seems to be even more overgrown than the nearby buildings. Peering into the windows and beyond the thick haze, you can barely make out colorful posters of what appears to be rows of jars fi f uh, full of plants lining the shelves. You hear the faint sound of a star uh, twinging from within, or a sitar twinging from within. A smiling hippie grandmother in a, f in a faded sundress and a bearded, uh, beaded headband. She's got a stethoscope around her neck. A lot of description for these characters. Oh, take this for your trouble. All right. Thanks for cleaning out the shop, Rangers. And now they get they get to go in. Now they live inside there. Now, all right. We got two experimental pain relievers. Uh oh, see how that goes. Let's play with drugs. All right, now they're moved in, and the t <laughs> no cockroaches are cleared out because, of course. Thanks for cleaning out the shop, Rangers. Don't mind the mess, friends. Martha will have it cleaned up in a jiffy. Let's trade. I'm sure. They sell drugs! And medical supplies, and so on. What did I just sell? Wedding ring? It's not mine. This ain't no fallout See you, for. Rangers. Hiya, George. Martha? Well, now, if it isn't Brother Thomas. Need a more liniment, brother? No thanks, Martha. Knee's just fine now. He knows everyone around town. So it seems like Heidi is the person we're going to want to meet because they seem to be the most reasonable opposition to the insane people that we're probably going to have to fight soon. So we'll see how that goes. I heard them buying one of Heidi. I heard they're bearing one of Heidi's girls today. Son of a bitch. Shit. New deck on table six. Check. Change the dice. Number three. Step right up, strangers. Good evening, folks. How can I help you? No, we're not. Gee, they just. There's so many of them. 
Welcome to Chinese Casino. I'm Manny Wong, owner, proprietor, proprietor and uh, your humble host. This place is crowded. You can't talk to them, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Looks like you, you come a long way, friends. Well, you found the right place to, for rest and relaxation. Come and sit a spell or play a game a, a, a chance. At the uh, cas Chinese Casino, it has the finest entertainment of the w West, or... Just a moment, those badges. Are you any chance the officers of the law? Yes. Glad to hear it. Just so happens, I'm in need of officers of the law. I don't suppose you could help me with a matter of some urgency. I'd pay you for your assistance. Yes. Excellent. Uh, we uh, recently had a little security problem. Not that we don't have excellent security. Grauman's boys are the best in the business. But, well, one night, some guys started a fight at the poker table, and that was only a diversion. While security were busy stopping the fight, a thief walked up with an entire table's worth of chips and managed to slip out of Hollywood before we noticed. Now normally, Grauman's boys would go after the con man, and all would be well, but apparently he's holed up at the inn in Los Feliz, and that's the God's Militia territory. Anyone from Hollywood would be shot on sight. So that answers that about what that location is, that's exactly where God's Militia is located. You, however, are lawmen, and the priests respect the law. As long as it isn't Hollywood law. What do you say? Can you get our chips back? As I said, we would pay you well. What can you pay? Money is no object. You will be well rewarded. Who are these priests? A bunch of crackpot religious nuts who believe the apocalypse was the rapture or something. Anyway, they think everyone in the world is a sinner and their job is to kill us all. Some neighbors, huh? What do you know about Los Feliz? It's a tiny place south of Griffith Park. Not much more than a couple of shops, but it's completely controlled by the God's Militia. Lunatics who want to join the cult... Who want to join the cult? Go there to try to their hand at some barbaric initiation rite. I hear four out of every five who enter die in the testing. What do you know about this rite? Don't know very much about it. Apparently it involves fighting all the way up the hill to the old observatory, which the priests call the Bastion of Faith. The Bastion? The old observatory. The priests have turned into some kind of fortress monastery. Impregnable, impregnable they say. Uh, don't know why anyone would want to. What do you know about Griffith Park? It's a park. Enough said. What about the con man? He calls himself the King of Gamblers, which is a joke. He has never gambled in his life. He is a card cheat and a con man who tricks other people into fighting so he can steal what he wants while they cause the distraction. We've had him in our watch list for years, but he's a master of disguise. Sometimes we miss him. What about the chips? Outside the, of this casino, they're completely worthless. Inside, they're worth a fortune. We fear this villain means to have accomplices sneak back in and cash them out. That's the first thing that came to mind for me, too. What do you know about Grauman? My head of security, pit boss, and all-around right-hand man. Not exactly chatty, but a, a man of his word. He makes sure all of the guys are straight and keep uh, and keeps us safe. I I would be nowhere without him. Where can we see a show? I'm afraid our cabaret is closed for renovations at the moment, so all we can offer you are table games. Okay, tell me about this casino. The Chinese casino is the finest entertainment destination on the West Coast, providing high-stakes gambling, high-quality stage shows, and high-potency liquor. We are proud to have been voted most honest casino in California six years running by none other than the HCC itself. Tell me about them. The HCC is the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, of which I am a proud member. The HCC is, dedica is dedicated to making Hollywood the safest, most tourist-friendly town in the USA. All of the finest establishments on the boulevard are participating members. The Chinese Casino, Heidi's Ho Hollywood Hideaway, Rambo's Gun Shop, and Schwag's Drugstore. Interesting. I wouldn't be surprised that if, if you want to get their help against the, uh... They, it might be a plot point that if you want their help against the God's Militia, you may need to get the favor of each individual member or something. Which doesn't isn't crazy, because Rambo... Well, Rambo didn't exactly have a quest, I don't think, did he? Did he have one? I don't think he did. I might be missing something there. But, I, uh... 
We've been to the drugstore, if, if that was Schwag, I might be mixing up names, but we helped them clear it out. This guy wants me to help catch a con man, like, they probably... I wouldn't be surprised if they all have a task. What do you do here? I'm Manny Wong, your humble host. I own the Chinese casino. What do you know about Schwag's drugstore? The best burgers and best girl and boy watching in town. Ever since the rumor got around that Schwag's was the place to be discovered, the most beautiful men and women in the waste have been have been flocking there, hoping to to be seen. And if you go there now, they will be. I uh, so I don't think it's the same store I'm thinking of. What do you know about Rambo? A harmless old fellow. Likes to boast of his past glories, which I am inclined to find dubious. A quality collection of weapons, though nothing dubious there. He made a fine. He's made a fine addition to the HCC. What do you know about Heidi's uh, Heidi's Hideaway? An intimate place to get intimate. If you are in need of comfort and companionship, Heidi's is just a short walk down the boulevard. The owner Heidi is a good friend in all class. I recommend paying her a visit. Oh. When I heard about Heidi at first, I thought she might have been like an, uh, some sort of militia leader, but it sounds like she's just the leader, leader of a brothel, which would explain why she's at odds with the gods of militia. Where can we play a game of chance? Plenty of blackjack tables to choose from, no need to see a cashier, we play for bullets here. Probably won't do any of that. Oh my god, everyone's talking. Ah, goodness me. That's... the screen is 90% text bubbles. Congratulations, everybody. Alright. Getting another dead end over here. Brothers and sisters, there is a cancer at the bottom of our beautiful mountain. A festering wound that curdles the eye as we look down upon that land. Hollywood! That open sewer of vice and degradation. An abomination of sin and perversion. Heidi Hollander, the monstrous madam who runs the place, claims that all crimes there are victimless, that all sin is consensual, and that no one gets hurt who doesn't want to be hurt. Well, I say hogwash. The hurt is to the soul, Madam Hollander. You are selling damnation in pretty perfumed packages, turning the heads of the innocent from the face of God with come-hither looks and bedroom eyes. You are corrupting souls faster than we can cleanse them! Well, it's gonna stop. And it's gonna stop soon, Ms. Hollander. Gird your putrid loins, you whore of Babylon, because God's militia is coming for you. With our bayonets, we will bleed the sin from your hearts. With our guns, we will BLAST THE DEVIL FROM YOUR PRIVATES! IN DEATH SHALL YE BE SAVED, HOLLYWOOD! IN DEATH SHALL YE BE SAVED! Alright, so what I'm getting from this is that he's not exactly a people person. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be siding with these people and wiping them out. I don't even know if the alternative is an option, they seemed rather unreasonable. What's in here? Love as commerce don't sit well with me. Oh well, Brother Terrence. The alternative is the gods and militia, so I feel like you might just have to uh, make do with what you got. Anyone around to talk to? You're all generics, I think. There's a door over here. Where does that go to? Can't tell from here. Let's avoid going through doors for now and just explore this particular map. Nope, that's another door. Nope, th there's a hallway back here. More side doors. Yep, this looks exactly like the brothel we saw before. Is it just going to be a series of doors? That is that one's a dude. They honestly just look like they've been knocked out. Like they didn't have animations for the guys, so all the girls are all in like, oh yes, look at me pose, and all the girl, all the guys are just like, they look like they're just passed out on a mattress. They're like, wait, we should have both genders here, and then they're like, uh, crap, we didn't make an animation. Oh well, shipping. <laughs> and then the game came out. Because the guys are just kind of, uh, like they're passed out and just actually sleeping. 
Now this place I like. Look at all the leather and the spikes. Oh, Ayrton, you are a child. You poor child. Hello. Ooh, look at all this. Mistress Veronica, welcome to the dungeon at Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway, where the f the fine line between pleasure and pain has been erased. I am Mistress Veronica, and you have entered the land of night and dreams, where no fantasy is too strange and no request ridiculed. Are you here to indulge yourselves, or do you have a business call? Uh, we're here for business? A shame. Dreams are so much more interesting. What can I do for you? We're, we were more interested in what we could do for you. Uh, well, if you're looking for employment, you could speak with Madam Heidi. I have nothing to do with that. Tell us about Heidi. Madam Heidi is a caring employer and... and a great leader for Hollywood and the HCC, and she has been very good to me. Great. You stand unsure. I... Please don't ask me about that. I am deeply indebted to Heidi. I wouldn't want to speak against her. Don't be afraid. You can speak to us. Well, okay. As long as it doesn't get back to Heidi, I... I don't think she's a bad person. She's just driven to promote Hollywood as a glamorous destination. That she turns a blind eye to the bad things happening in the shadows. The drugs, the slavers. She and the HCC just pretend that it's not happening. There's slavery? Heidi says there's no slavery in Hollywood, but I know better. I lost friends to those bastards, and there are more street kids disappearing every day. I just wish that there was something I could do to save them. Maybe we could save them. Could you? Would you, oh rangers? If you did this, I would be eternally grateful. Now, I don't know who's stealing those girls and boys, but I can tell you where to start looking. Schwag, uh, Schwag's Drugstore. Some of those talent agents that hang around there aren't really talent agents at all, I'm sure of it. Will you investigate them for me? Will you bring some me some evidence I can take to Heidi that will prove that this is happening? Yes. Oh, thank you. I have wished for so long that I could do something myself, but Heidi doesn't like her, their, her employees ma uh, to make wa waves. Come back to me if you find any evidence of slavery. What do you know about Schwag's Drugstore? Heidi likes me, uh, likes me to promote us, and Sh uh, Duke Schwag is a member of the HCC, but it brings back bad memories of when I first arrived here as a runaway. Too many creeps at the counter. HCC? That's Madam Heidi's organization, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. She's the former... She's the founder and president, and it has been the saving of this town. Without it, we would have all been overrun by the militia long ago, but... Well, never mind. But? But what? I shouldn't have spoken. Madam Heidi's been done too much for Hollywood. Who am I to question her decisions? Forget I said anything, please. You obviously can't forget what's upsetting you. Alright, you're right. It troubles me so, uh, too much not to speak. Heidi and HCC are so focused on saving Hollywood from God's militia, they can't see the problems inside our walls, but I see them. They, that she's just looping back onto the previous stuff. I was runaway once, I saw the drugs, I saw the slavers, and as much as I admire Heidi for making Hollywood what it is, I can't sleep knowing what's happening to those kids on the street. There's, there's just multiple branches that lead to that same part of the dialogue. Why does God's Militia hate this place so much? In their mind, we're all sinners. Which, as far as I can tell, is someone who can scratch out a modicum of self-respect and pleasure in this shithole wasteland. Sure, we're not perfect, I mean, rumors about slavers don't come from nowhere. Tell us about the God's Militia. Two days ago, they killed one of my girls. Heidi wouldn't let me go to the funeral for fear they would raid us again and kill me too. I... I despise them. They're exactly the sort of closed-minded savages I was running away from when I came to Hollywood, but there's no escaping them. Every time you go... Uh, every time you... Every time you up... Every time you up... <laughs> you see their damned bastion uh, of faith looking looming over the, the Hollywood. We've talked about the Bastion and drugs before. Uh... Not Heidi, what can we do for you? Uh, you want to help me personally? I'm afraid I can't... I'm afraid I don't know you well enough to trust you with personal matters. Perhaps if we know each other better. Tell us about yourself. 
I am assistant to Madame Heidi of Heidi's Hideaway, the mistress of her dungeon, where it is my pleasure to provide pleasure, uh, pleasure and pain, or or pain, whichever you require. That's about all we're doing here. Till we meet again, Rangers. So your employees give and receive pain. Indeed, is that your desire? No, no. I have had enough of pain, but thank you. We're getting a. It's funny we have we have one priest, which uh, which uh, uh, funnily enough is the least innocent person in our party, and is willing to fight people with uh, SMGs and all that. But we have two like two people with huge weapons that are both uh, super naive to the outside world, because one seems to be a sheltered child that just had a, like had access to like a metal collection or something, and the other one has been living in a super mutant basement. So there's not a single chamber around here that's actually being used right now, is there? Nope, never mind. I'm busy here. Mate, bugger off. Now where were we? Okay. Take a number, pal. It's going to be a long wait. The bear. Looks like you're happy to see me. Stop talking, you're ruining the moment. Alright. Don't know how to feel about the fact that two guys going at it was played across a hallway of a guy and a goat going at it. Maybe not the best parallel to draw. Haven't we met- we met the bear before, haven't we? Pretty sure we met the bear before. That's kind of a follow-up on a character we saw a long time ago, I think. Unless I'm wrong. We've definitely seen that portrait before, but that portrait goes everywhere. Ow! Why? I killed the bodyguard. Why is the door explosive? Jesus Christ. This is a place where sex is purchased? I see. Joran, Bezepi's very confused by this place. So I went ahead and reloaded just to not murder someone on accident by clicking on a door. The consequences for just browsing the environment can be so dire in this game sometimes. It's kind of silly how quickly you can just be like, Oh, yep, everyone's dead now. Woo! Touched the door, it exploded. Everyone's go everyone's insides are on the outsides. This room's empty, huh? This room is empty. There's no one? That's just the room. Whoa! It's weird seeing how fast those dots are moving. <laughs> it's weird seeing how fast they move when the when the map is this small, because just so zoomed in. But the uh, the arrows are so small at that point they're actually smaller than the people they represent. It becomes an inverse of how the scale generally works. So I think we're done exploring this place, and I don't think I ever met Heidi. Did I? Right, they're they're bur they're burying somebody, so she's going to be at wherever they bury people. But either way, we have reason to investigate Schwans at least, or Schwags. All right, let's continue on south. Shazbot. All right. Just we're just making up fun words today. Good to know. What's this one? Ammunition, property, of the U.S. government. Please don't explode on me. It's locked. Okay. Let's not let's not rob these places. Let's just continue. Diner. There's a diner over here. I don't like this place. I feel uglier than ever here. Oh, welcome to Schwags. That's why they feel ugly, is because of the uh, the nastiness that goes on here. Okay, Rangers, what'll it be? And sorry, I ain't on the menu. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Rangers in Hollywood. Well, how about that? Y'all come here make a, to make a cowboy picture? You sure came to the right place to be discovered. What do you mean by discovered? It's true, lots of boys and girls get discovered at Schwags. Plenty of kids who had their first Hollywood meal in Schwags have ended up headlining at the Chinese or Heidi's Hideaway after someone like Swifty picks them up. But there's just... Uh, there's just as many who, well... Mr. Swag doesn't like me to talk about that. Swifty? Or Swifty? You know, it's pronounced Swifty, but with... So it's well, but it's it's pronounced Swifty, but it's spelled Wolf. Watch out for that guy. Okay. What about what about Schwag? 
He's the boss man, goes by Duke because he thinks he's John Wayne, but he ain't no cowboy pilgrim. So why is Swifty dangerous? I can't say anymore. Meet me at the cemetery. You want to meet at the cemetery? It's just back down the street. You can't miss it. Some of the girls from Heidi's are having a funeral today. What do you know about Heidi? Got a little joke about the guys at Heidi's. Want to hear it? Okay, here goes. They dance a little on their left legs, they dance a little on their right legs. And between the two of them, they make a decent living. Get it? No? You got no sense of humor. Who is Flo again? Well, it's, that's you. So who, who are you? That's me, your hash house hostess with the mostess. Why doesn't Mr. Swag let you talk about it? Let's just say, we're where there's sheep, there's wolves, and leave it at that, shall we? Now, you need anything else? You want to talk about the casino? That's the big time in this town. You make it to Manny's, you're a star. You want a good time, you get yourself a ticket, it's worth it. Just, ma just watch out for Manny's second-in-command, Grauman. He's all hands, that guy. Grauman? He's Manny's pit boss. Guess he does his job okay, but he sure is a creep. Don't know why Manny keeps him around. What do you know about Manny Wong? The gentle giant of Hollywood. A great guy, but don't try any fighting business at his place. He'll break you in half. Earlier you said that where there's sheep, there's wolves? I'm not saying any more about it. Thanks, Rangers. Y'all come back now. And she is out of here. So she's going to the graveyard. At this point, all signs point to Graveyard, but we're kind of probably going to want to explore this place, too, before we head there, and the rest of Hollywood. Uh, going to go ahead and cut it here, guys. Thanks for watching, like always, and I'll see you next time, where we might finally finish up with Hollywood. Or not. These places are very dense.